Morning. This video is going to document the four gene of a nasal 3B muffler comb. My 3B sits in a canopy out my backyard. It's another view of the canopy from the back. I can close in that part of the canopy that uh, contains the hammer. This is a picture of the muffler comb uh, finished. This is, uh, shows where in that hammer this goes. It's part of the air control system. Somebody had uh, replaced the original cone with this plate. More than likely the cone got broken. To make this I start with about eight and a half inches of a, of a, a four inch steel pipe. It's a quarter inch wall and it is steel, it's not cast iron. I heat it in a forge that I put together, a freeform forge made out of soft fire brick. It takes a, a lot of heat to uh, make this. Um, you're, you're just going to see a little bit of the forging. I probably worked on this several hours. Uh, at least I know I did. I worked on this several hours and it took many, many heats. Just showing as it progresses along here. Had a, a small cone mandrel on there, which I will use later. Let's keep working it. Work the end first, and then work up to a little past the center. I will be spreading that wide end out even wider than it is. I used for a couple of heats, I used another power hammer. Um, I only did this for a little bit because I didn't like the kind of deformation I was getting um, on it. I was a little bit worried about the uh, splitting that end. Then I have to take this easy. If I had tooling, I could make tooling to, to make this easy to do under the power hammer. Um, or easier. Back to the anvil. You can see that I've made quite a bit of progress there. Next is to, actually the small end is where I want it. Next is to use that small cone mandrel to, um, to widen that end. This actually takes probably, I probably do this six times on here or more. Um, six different heats. I actually push that down lower than the bottom of that mandrel. I, I put a spacer under there so it sits up a little bit later and push it down. It's a slow process. Actually, it's pretty heat. It was warming up my belly pretty good. <laughs> um, to, to make that taper um, or cone true um, along, along the plane, I put it on a pipe or a, a solid bar mandrel. Um, actually, this is a little easier to get it on this way. Kind of learn as I go. Pull that over. I'll, I'll lay it down flat in just a second, and I work it work it down flat on the um, there we go down flat on the um, that mandrel. Here you can see I've I've uh, worked it quite a bit. Got it pretty straight. Actually, it's looking pretty good. The the narrow end is where I want it. The large end I will actually be uh, spreading into a bell shape a little bit. I need it a little bit bigger. There has to be just a little bit of space. This sits in a tower. It'll be on a base, which you'll see, which we saw. You'll see how I make that in a second. This is half inch plate, half inch steel plate, mild steel. Mark a circle the right size and, and uh, cut it out on a bandsaw. Mark and center punch the mounting holes. I'll also be cutting uh, airports in there. When I drill large holes, I always drill a small hole first and then drill a large hole. Takes a little time. Need to find the center. Um, this is really a useful tool. I didn't even know these tools existed until just a few years ago. I, I wish I had one 
<laughs> across my uh, whole um, adult life. It would have been in, uh, easier to do some of the work. Mark that center. I'm looking down in the center, lining up that uh, X. X marks the spot. I have to do this because I mark it to um, where I'm going to do some cutouts for air passage. Drill holes in the corner so it makes it easier to uh, use a settling to, to cut out those areas. I file this not because it needs to be smooth, I file it more because I need to make sure that all the slag and anything loose is gone. I cannot, I, it, it would be devastating to the hammer if something fell down into, into the um, top of the ram area. Weld the um, cone onto the base and there we are, final product. Good project. Might have to tweak it. A little bit. Thanks for watching.